I'm the other Chris. Um, like Linda said, this is our second trip. The first time we came was with was with a really big church, and it was. You have to sit in the front, man. Yeah. Um, it was a really big church, and it was cool. It was really life changing, but it was really structured. Um, and we, you know, we did do quite a quite a bit, but we've only been with Calvary Chapel Eastville for about a year, not a little over a year. And when we decided to go, it was, we were like, okay, it'd be really cool to go with our church and to meet all these people that we go to church with, to get to know people. And when we found out that it was only going to be Linda and I with our pastor, <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. And Linda goes to me, she goes, you better be on your best behavior. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> but um, it, it's going with a smaller group is so much better because it, it's you can do a lot more. You can see we've seen a lot more this time and did a lot more this time than we did the first time because we were flexible. And I think what the Lord had showed me on this trip with the rain and everything else is we have to be flexible and we have to be patient. And it's His timing. And everything happens for a reason. Everything. Everything that we've done, everything we experience is, is in his time. Just be flexible, wait upon him, and he will show you what he's going to reveal to you. And it, it's it's just amazing. We have to take the, I don't think people really understand when they have the Bible in their hand or in their lap. I don't think they really understand what they actually have. Not really. I mean, if you really dig deep into the Bible... It's amazing. I mean, sometimes you know, you you do that. Oh, I'm going to read the Bible one year kind of thing. And once you get to Leviticus, numbers, your eyes rolling in the back of your head. You're like, why do I need to learn how to build a temple in the middle of the wilderness? But if you break it down into why, and every little detail, every single page of the Bible speaks of Jesus Christ. Every page. You could you could pull Jesus out of every single even building a temple in the wilderness. He's there. <coughs> And he's here with us now, and he will always be with us. We need to take this back to our churches, our families, our friends, and our co-workers. And it's with his timing. And thank you all for sharing this with us.